reach the end users who are the farmers to create change in the livelihoods of our people in Africa and Uganda in particular. We need to emphasize the value chain approach so that we don't touch here and there. We need to have a smart, climate smart agriculture with good agricultural practices. All these are ideas which we need to make sure that they come up as we move in the, to the agriculture extension week. Digitizing agriculture, other than the COVID, which has shown us that we need to do this, but the issue of digitizing agriculture is very paramount. And we have to make sure that this is one of the things that we must address. How do we get the youth, the women and others being mainstreamed in gainful agricultural value chains? So these are some of the ideas that we need to make sure that they are not only spoken about in workshops and meetings, but are translated into real practices into our policies. So this is very important that the organizing committee and all stakeholders, we make sure that we embrace this in our discussions so that our policy briefs and our policy interventions are addressing these issues. Honorable Minister, uh, I also want to use this opportunity to thank AFAS and WUFAS for the support they have been giving to the core functions of the ministry. Honorable Minister, I can confidently report that we have been working closely, as Dr. Salim Nandi said, we even have an MOU with the UFAS and, and AFAS. We have been working with them very closely. And the Honorable Minister, they have supported us in a number of ways. For example, in the developing policy documents, policy guidelines, and the reviews, including recently the agriculture extension policy and the agriculture extension strategy. So I think we should give a clap for them for this kind of support. Our Honorable Minister, as you have been told or you have heard, the extension week is going to bring here in Uganda over 40 African countries and other participants across the globe. And our preparations up to November will culminate into none other than His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, presiding over as the chief guest and give a keynote address. So, Honorable Minister, the task ahead of us is quite big, but Honorable Minister and colleagues, uh, what I want to mention is that we shall give it our best and to make sure that we organize a very good event for this purpose. And the uh, Honorable Minister and colleagues, as you are aware, Uganda has actually a niche and has demonstrated a big capacity for organizing continental and global events, those are, that have taken place here. And we pledge that this one will even be better than the four which have been organized in other four African countries. So lastly, uh, Honorable Minister, is to urge all of us to make sure that we give it uh, our best. We give it our best and make sure that we give it this event the due credit that it deserves. Uh, with these few remarks, Honorable Minister, I want to use this privilege and pleasure to invite you, uh, first of all, to come and address us, but also to launch the National Organizing Committee. Thank you, Honorable Minister, and you're most welcome.
Frau Mendes Secretary. Frau Mendes Partner. United States Actors President. Directors, Commissioners, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. Before I go into my speech, allow me to introduce myself and later make a few comments before I go into the depth of my speech for the day. I'm known by the names Major Retired, Chapra Gafred Wino. Uh, I'm a member of Parliament. I represent people who know Gigala district. Many people, this meaning is sorrow. Others, basically, they are holy, uh, but I'm from the solar. Um, I'm into representing the people in the National Assembly for the second time. Uh, prior to my entry in elective politics, I was a man in uniform. But I was not in a format uniform. I was in an intellectual uniform. I was uh, in uniform for 26 years. And during that period, I was a man of the team that uh, advises the president of this country on various issues. Uh, during my tenure in that capacity, I was uh, able to have tour of duty in the various fields, <coughs> including agriculture, including Internal affairs, including finance, including foreign affairs, including national security. So I can uh, confidently say that uh, that exposure enabled me to become an all round servant of this country. And uh, I could occasionally get off time to update academic arts. So in 1996, I did my postgraduate. And uh, I had interest in the biofertilizer, particularly rhizobia. And uh, I was interested in uh, knowing or studying the compatibility of uh, rhizobia with uh, chemical treatments of seeds because I was a seed pathologist. And I had the, the privilege to be trained by none other than. Dr. Srimo, <laughs> when he was in the Kawanda, that was uh, exactly the time when I, I was a researcher, a research student in the Kawanda, in the city project by then. Uh, again, uh, without extending my introduction, my introduction uh, too far, I must say that uh, I'm a son of peasants. Peasant farmers. Peasant farmers. And uh, I was uh, able 
to go through my education through the fi financing from peasants, peasant farmers, who are smallholder farmers of coffee, cotton, granites, and maize in the uh, Iganga district. And I must say that, that uh, I'm among those that can uh, give testimony about what I later came to realize and I want to talk about shortly before I go into my speech. Here, here we have that peasant farmer, my father, whom I call the real producer of wealth. Then we have the politician, me, his son, the one who mobilizes that the, the, the real producer of wealth. Then somewhere, somewhere, we have the brains, the researchers, the streams of this world. So the real challenge is the gap between the researchers and the producers of wealth. And I think uh, the bridge to that gap is extension services. And this is for that matter that uh, I'm extremely happy and honored to be with you today to officiate at the launching of National Organizing Committee for the fifth Africa Agriculture Extension Week to be held in Uganda on the 14th to the 20th of November of this year. As you all know, this event is being organized under very trying times of the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm hopeful that this committee that I'm going to launch this morning will put in place all the necessary measures attract wide audience, both local and international, under limited physical contact. I hope the people at the back are hearing me. Going by, by the current situation, this is bound to be the first physical contact, rather the first uh, AAEW, that is uh, the uh, Africa Agricultural Extension Week to be conducted by a hybrid of physical and virtual participation. On the behalf of government, I extend our appreciation to the management of the African Forum for Agricultural and Advisory Services, APAS, for giving Uganda the opportunity to host this very important uh, event this year. Many of you may be aware that Uganda has been one of the fast grow, fastest growing economies in Africa. And agricultural growth is key in helping the country progress towards the middle income status. And to the second sustainable development goal of ending hunger and all forms of malnutrition by 2030. The agriculture sector comprising crop, fisheries, and uh, livestock subsectors, however, is yet to be optimally resilient. And as such, 
is vulnerable to climate shocks and disasters. Raw production and productivity in the sector is directly linked to lack of quality inputs, unequal access to resources for women and, the, and, and youth across the value chains, low access to financial services, inadequate extension services, efficient market information, and limited access to markets, among others. The agriculture sector, therefore, deserves special attention within a broader approach to expand productivity capacity for sustainable development, poverty reduction, and building resilience to climatic shocks. The Ministry of Agriculture as contained in the NRM manifesto for the current Kisanja of 2021-2026 is committed to address the underlying problems as highlighted above that are linked to production, markets, and governance, as well as the key relationships between public and private actors public and private actors that have been weak and in some instances non-existent. The new leadership at the ministry is committed to fulfilling this commitment, including reviewing and expediting the processing of the National Agriculture Extension Bill to provide a legal framework for a responsive agricultural extension System. I'm made to understand, and uh, you saw the, the presentation from uh, the commissioner, Dr. Nakaret, that the theme of the Africa Agriculture Extension Week 2021 is effective agriculture extension systems for sustainable agri agripreneurship in Africa. In Uganda, like in many African countries that are, that are desirous to move towards becoming industrialized as they visit under their respective planning frameworks, the role of agriculture extension as an instrument of social economic transformation of rural communities is now more evident than ever before. Agriculture extension and advisory services play a crucial role in boosting agricultural productivity, increasing food security, improving rural livelihoods, and promoting agriculture as an engine of pro poor economic growth. By accelerating the, the diffusion process of improved knowledge and technologies, extension brings about a faster growth of yields and rural incomes. Uh, globally, it is evident that uh, countries that have succeeded in transforming their agriculture and ultimately their economies at the same time invested substantially in agriculture extension systems and farmer organization involvement. However, in Uganda, agriculture extension reforms, including the ongoing prolistic single spine uh, extension, have experienced some limitations of funding, logistic support of oh, the staff weak agricultural research extension linkages, and this, this uh, proportionate extension agent to farm family ratio, which now stands at uh, about 1 to 1,800. The NDP3 has put agriculture extension at the center 
of the agro-industrialization program. And uh, addressing the constraints above is now a priority. My ministry. The COVID-19 and the associated cold analysis of market demands at local, regional, and national levels. The two roles have to complement each other. If we are to raise, if you are to realize food security in the agri-food agri systems, and the issue of self-regulation is also critical. Sustainable agripreneurship shall only be realized if the public, private, and civil society work to implement each other, rather complement each other. <clears throat> the prolific extension system provides this window of opportunity for such collaboration. Ladies and gentlemen, before I conclude, I wish to inform this meeting that the government of Uganda has adopted the parish development model as a vehicle to improve coordination of service delivery and increase household incomes and welfare of the population. The model has seven pillars that I want to bring to uh, your attention. And these are either number one, production, storage, processing, and marketing. Either number two, combines infrastructure and economic services. Either number three is about financial inclusion. Pillar number four is on social services. Pillar number five is about mindset change. Uh, pillar number six is about parish uh, based management information systems. Those of you that uh, have been uh, attending my meetings would have noticed that. This is one of my areas of interest. And lastly, uh, pillar number seven is governance and administration. Agriculture extension has a crucial role to play in the implementing this model. And I wish to call upon all of you here to warm up to the model for the good of our communities. I wish to conclude by reassuring everyone here. I know that you come from uh, different institutions, but I want to reassure you that the agricultural sector transformation is of course, but to realize our end state, 
will require the support and cooperation of all of us. All of us must participate. Together, we shall succeed. Uh, it is therefore my humble and the great honor and pleasure to officially launch the NOC, the National Organizing Committee for the Fifth Africa Africa wide extension no, uh, Africa wide agricultural extension week 2021 and look forward to successful hosting of the event for God and the country. And, uh, <clears throat> much as uh, I know that uh, in the days or weeks to come, we shall announce this to the country and the world at large. And much as I know that we shall later have uh, a photo opportunity for the entire team, I want to suggest that the chair and co-chair and uh, a few members probably of the secretariat come forward so that we, we are not accused of launching something that is not there. <laughs> <laughs> so I propose that we come in front here so that we are seen on camera. Thank you very much for <laughs> It's a big team, but this is just representative because they have several committees. We have a few media people here, and we are giving you opportunity to ask 
the team that is here present. Dr. Paula, Chair, please can you join the team there? We are going to spend about 20, 30 minutes to ask them questions and they should be able to respond. The first clause? Yes. I thought this is part of it. Thank you very much. I've been reliably informed that uh, we first officially close, then we can carry on with the media activity. We shall go through our attempts in the reverse order. Maybe we shorten them down to one stanza each. Yes, one from, we start with the East African anthem, and then we come to the Uganda national anthem. Are we together? Yes. Please can we all stand up and we? <laughs> one stanza each. Can somebody have another mic? It is two bad manners for one person to say, please. Who is going to join you? Please check on Okay, thank you. A mongo to a mutuline, Joe, African Ashari, to a shake, we should go upon to Jimmy's and Amane for yet to Joe, yet to sort it to. time that you have given us. Lord, we do not take it for granted that we are gathered here alive to testify of your goodness. Lord, we thank you for the launch that has just taken place, Lord, for the National Organizing Committee and the launch thereafter, which will take place for the Agriculture Extension Week. We lift each and everything into your hands, Lord, for all the preparations that are ahead for all the participants that are going to participate in the, during these uh, events. Lord, we need your guidance, we need your wisdom, and we need your protection amidst this time of COVID. We continue to bless each and every person who has attended, both physical and online, that Lord, you continue to bless them. Thank you, Jesus, in your name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Please let's clap for everybody. Clap for yourself. Beautiful. Let's get seated. And then our media is now ready for the questionings of our guests. Please let's be first with this. We have questions to ask, and we'll expect responses from the team. Media? Even the house can ask. It's the first time we are with our minister. <laughs> Today, he's not only the minister of state. He's representing the senior minister of agriculture, animal industry officials. You are free to have your first question during the 
African agriculture week. Why have to hear? And definitely he will be able to respond accordingly. Madam, if they are not ready, because the Honorable Minister will be at a later stage going to the media center. They saw so that they, they can then have an interface with him. Uh, honorable, they, they, they would like to have a one on one, maybe give a brief explanation. Yes. Maybe we can have the photograph. The yes. thing that we have here. We could have the photograph. We just have so the Yes. Now we need the photograph and the press brief. So we can have that. So thank you, thank you very much. Would you be able to take some pictures? Oh, open front of the camera. <laughs>